Did you see that like chocolate skin? <laughs> I'm okay with it though. Okay, so we have both ordered hot chocolate with whipped cream at Corette, and this place is known for their hot chocolate, so we are going to test it out on our hot chocolate tour here in Paris because there is no shortage of fantastic, decadent, literally like liquid chocolate bars with whipped cream, and we're gonna show you some of them. It's like a liquid chocolate bar. And I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate, but hot chocolate, yeah. So in addition to our hot chocolate here, we had to get some macarons, because it is nighttime right now, so we figured it might be a little late for a croissant, so that'll be for later. But look at how cute and pretty they are. I think I've only had a legit macaron like once in my life, and it was like mediocre. Sorry, London, that's what we got it. Eh. But these look fantastic. Macaron vanilla to go against the chocolate. I'll try it. It's, the outside is crunchy, the inside is creamy. It is incredibly sweet. You can just taste how high quality this is. They're like decadent to go with this hot chocolate. Over the top, ridiculous, Paris. I think this one is salted caramel. Legit French. Macaron. Oh my god. This is the best salted caramel I've ever had in my entire life. Okay, that's your hot. That was better than the vanilla one. Oh my god. Yeah, that's amazing. And it's cold. Man. Dang. Cut it. Correct? Correct. 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 20 euros of hot chocolate for the two of us. <laughs> Worth it. It was very, very good. And you had the best macaron of your life. I gotta tell you, that salted caramel or whatever that salted butter, butter salt, caramel. Butter, mm. I mean, I think that goes without saying that butter is in caramel, but I mean, life changing. So good. We didn't even talk about the hot chocolate. It was great, it was like liquid chocolate. No, the hot chocolate was fantastic. Temperature was right. <clears throat> the whipped cream was good. Yeah, I mean, just. Awesome. I'm on like sugar overload right now, but definitely, definitely go there. I understand why everybody now is like, gotta come right. Well, yeah, because it's good. <laughs> uh, so we jumped on the metro, rode a bunch of stops, and now we're gonna get more hot chocolate. Yeah, why not? It's cold, so hot chocolate would be a perfect little break. Where are we going? And a croissant. A croissant? Uh, la ca cafe. Del Fior? De, de Flore. De, de Flore? Flore? Okay, first of all, I can't tell you how excited and happy I am right now to be at this place. And we just ordered two gigantic croissants. Croissants? And two probably gigantic hot chocolates with cream and some jam to go with it. And it's cozy in here and it's sunny and it's a, gonna be a good day. Did you see that like chocolate skin? <laughs> I'm okay with it though. <laughs> it's just fell in there. I love it. Yeah. Cafe de Flor. Hot chocolate. Oh my god. Again, like a chocolate bar. Wow, that's really good. The temperature is right on all of these too. You, you have to get this with the whipped cream though because it kind of like it laces the chocolate because it's so rich it would be like overpowering if you didn't have the cream <laughs> waiter was standing there like listening to me talk about this so i was trying to be nice the whipped cream is over whipped a little bit but that's just the baker in me like nitpicking the chocolate's fantastic super smooth yeah i like that it's it's like the right drinking temperature too like i'm not gonna hurt my mouth yeah highly recommend
So you have to try dipping your croissant in the hot chocolate. They're so flaky. It's like, why not, right? Magnifique. So how's this hot chocolate tour going for you? <laughs> pretty good. Two hot chocolates in 12 hours. It's pretty, pretty close together. That yeah. was really good though. I mean, just the atmosphere in there too, like the vibe of it, kind of sitting out in like the like an, the atrium area, watching people go by. The server was super nice. Super nice. Croissant was fantastic. Really good. Dip it in the hot chocolate, like, oh. Even the jam for the croissants. I've never had strawberry jam that tasted like that before. It was so good. Well, they charged you three euros for each of those jams, so it better be good. <laughs> I don't even think I needed all of it. I just made sure to use all of it because it was so pricey. This but... is an expensive tour of hot chocolates, I will say. That was 35 euro. That was breakfast, let's be honest. That was hot chocolate and croissants for 35 euro. Right. Breakfast. The hot chocolate was comparable to That's last good. night, right? Yeah, about yeah. the same. A little more. You're in Paris. Uh, no. You're gonna spend money on hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably the most chocolatey hot chocolate that we've had so far. It's very good, super rich, decadent, almost like a little too much maybe for my non-dark chocolate persona. But again, the whipped cream helps to kind of lace it. It's really beautiful in here. I mean, this is kind of like the place that you have to go to try hot chocolate. You liked it the best, right? Yeah, very good. I like the temperature of this one better a little bit hotter so you can stay warmer for longer. Yeah, it's a lot of hot chocolate. Can we please stop having hot chocolate? Please. <laughs> I have good news for you. No more hot chocolate. We had a lot of hot chocolate here in less than two days. Yeah, that was a lot. That one was my favorite. Super dark chocolate. And I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate, so actually I think I liked Karet. 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 So I think that was my favorite because it was a little more mellow than the crazy like, dark hot chocolate. <laughs> this place is like probably the most touristy and famous. Well, it's right near the Louvre. Yep. and kind of down in all of it. So I think that also contributes to why it's so busy. But you also like their hot chocolate the best, so. I liked it the best. It had that super dark, like, uh, layer of, like, sweetness, almost a fruitiness to it. Or you could just taste that it was very, very dark chocolate. Yeah, I think I went through all of the fresh whipped cream, cream and it wasn't enough to lace it for me, so. To cut it for you. Lace it. Lace it. Well, that concludes the hot chocolate tour of Paris. Oh my gosh. You wanna do one more? I don't. <laughs> I need a couple weeks. Man, I, have you ever had hot chocolate like this in the States? In the States? No, I've had it in other parts of France before, in Italy. No, no, I no, think. no, no. US. No. Because Europe, yeah, I think that's just standard here. It's like, let's take a chocolate bar and melt it down and call it a hot chocolate. Which no, makes sense. I have yeah. never had anything like this in the United States. Maybe in New York City? I'm sure it's there somewhere. I've just not had it. There used to be a place called City Bakery. RIP City Bakery. I think I'm good on hot chocolate for a really long time. Yeah.